مرحبا مس جي جي 7th graders how are you awesome students i hope you're doing all well شكراً because you joined this new lesson my 7th graders now we are going to start a new unit بالعربي and this new unit is about sports and hobbies sports and hobbies sports in arabic is al riyada al riyada this is a very interesting and engaging lesson and we are going to have fun while learning it so this is unit two for the second semester of uh, seventh grades and here i am going to show you the contents of the unit first we are at lesson one we're going to start with the sports vocabulary lesson two sports verbs lesson three hobbies vocab lesson four adverbs of frequency for example always from time to time or sometimes or not at all you know adverbs of frequency lesson five is a cultural life lesson we will be talking about sports and hobbies in the arab countries and the similarities and differences between the united states sports and hobbies and the arab countries lesson six uh, is uh, really uh, fun because you will be uh, making a, creating a project about a famous athlete or artist of your choice and last but not least lesson seven you will be able to create simple and compound sentences while talking about sports and hobbies for example i like basketball uh, and i play uh, volleyball you know i like to play games uh, and to read books you know we will, when we get there you will know what i'm talking about all right so let's go to the next slide here you have all oh, you still have the big title unit two sports and hobbies and in this uh, in this uh, link i put for you the uh, slides for sports lessons one and two so uh, it's already on nearpod uh, the lesson lessons one and two and also the slides are going to be on google classroom all right so if uh, you remember what i just said today we are going to cover lesson one sports vocabulary and lesson two sports verb let's go ahead and have a look at our learning targets all right so actually it is one learning target let's remove, remove the s i can name six sports in arabic today's learning target for lesson one is i can name six sports in arabic all right let's start uh you know with the first one we have here for you but as always you know i like to start with the name tracker i would i would like for all of us to start here at novice level as if we don't know any word uh you know in arabic for sports and hopefully by the end of the lesson you will be an apprentice which is we're still learning some of you may become experts or even mentors all right so let's start our lesson one sports vocabulary i can name six sports in arabic so the first word i would like for you to learn today is the word sports sports in arabic is el riyada sport in arabic is el riyada let's say it together El All right. And the first slide I have here for you is soccer. Who does not like soccer? 
and soccer in Arabic is Kurat Al Qadam. Kurat Al Qadam. Look at my uh, cursor here. Kurat Al Qadam. Soccer in Arabic is Kurat Al Qadam. Kurat Al Qadam. Kurat Al Qadam. All right. Boys and girls, the Nepot lesson has all the activities and the uh, games, the educational games we play for you to, to reinforce our learning. Okay. This is just a slide, like uh, this is just like a study guide for you that I am using now to record the lesson. So this soccer is Qurat Al Qadam. Our next word, vocabulary word for sport bil Arabi is basketball. Basketball. Kurat al Salla. Kurat al Salla. Basketball. Kurat al Salla. Let's pretend here we have the net, you know. Kurat al Salla. So let's have a look here at the first one. Kurat al Qadam. Kurat al Qadam. Kurat al Salla. So boys and girls, can you guess how we say uh, ball in Arabic? Good job. It's Kura. Kura is ball. Let's have a look at our third type of sports you guys are going to learn. Bil Arabic. Tennis, tennis, Kurat al Madrib, Kurat al Madrib, Kurat, let's pretend I have here a ball, Kurat al Madrib, Kurat al Madrib. Let's say them one more time. Kurat al Qadam, Kurat al Salla. Kurat al Madrib. Good job, boys and girls. All right, let's have a look at the next three type of sports that you need to learn in Arabic. Next, we have running. Running. And I know so many of you are doing track at Amana, and this is really nice. You know, al Rakat. Al Rakat. Running. Al Rakat, Al Rakat, running, Al Rakat, running. Let's look at the one, one after swimming, Al Sibaha, Al Sibaha, Al Sibaha, swimming. Look at this, boys and girls, a little clue running. Al Rakid. Here you have running starts with the letter R, and Rakid starts with the letter R as well. So that's a nice clue to learn it. All right, running Al Rakid, Al Rakid, and look at swimming, swimming Al Sibaha, also swimming. Starts with the letter S. Well, Sibaha starts with the letter C. S for swimming, R for running, Ra for racket, C for El Sibaha. Let's have a look at our third, uh, uh, you know, uh, sports or like activity dancing. Dancing. El Rakus. Dancing, Al Rakus. I think it's going to be not very hard for you, boys and girls, because I have a feeling the word Al Rakus by itself. I know it doesn't sound a lot like dancing, but for some reason, looking at the back picture here and the word Al Rakus here, you know, it will be kind of quick to learn it. Al Rakus, Al Rakus. Dancing. 
Good job, boys and girls. Good job. I have here another one. And those are, this is the soccer ball, the kura, another kura, and another kura. This kura is for kura al qadam. This kura is for kura al salla. And this kura is for kura al madrib. All right. Let's look again at the other uh, sports. Al raqs. Al sibaha. Al raqt. Good job, boys and girls. Good job. Let me show you here the study guide that will also be on Google Classroom. As always, you have the English in terms, the terms written in transliteration, and this is the Arabic. Let's have a look at them one more time. Kurat al-Qadam, Kurat al-Salla, Kurat al-Madrib, al-Raqad, al-Sibaha, al-Raqs. Good job, boys and girls. I, I, this is the end of lesson one. I'm really hoping that uh, we are now at the level uh, apprentice. We are still learning. I'm very proud of all of you. And I am going to, to go ahead and start lesson two with you because it really connects to lesson one. Okay, lesson two will be talking about sports verbs. Let's have a look at the learning targets. Our learning targets for lesson two are, I can express likes and dislikes about sports. I like soccer. I like, uh, I like uh, uh, tennis. I do not like swimming, you know. And then the second lar uh, learning target is I can use the verbs I play and I do not play, I like, and I do not like in full sentences. All right, boys and girls. So we, uh, we did uh, unfold the learning targets. Basically, we are going to be learning about likes and dislikes about sports and how to use a couple of words and making sentences. As always, I like to start with the names, name uh, tracker, and let's start by all being here at the novice level. All right, so the title is El Riyada, El Riyada, which is sports. And let's have a look at our first slide. I like and I do not like. I like, Uhib. I like, Uhib. Uhib. I do not like. لا أحب. لا أحب. لا أحب. لا أحب. أحب. I like. لا أحب. I do not like. All right. Let's move to our next slide. The next verb is. I play, to play, I play, I do not play, I play, Al-Ab, al I play, al I play, I do not play, La al La al I do not play, La al Let's have a look at them one more time. أحب لا أحب أحب كرة القدم لا أحب السباحة ألعب كرة السلة لا ألعب كرة المضرب Boys and girls, again, our Nearpod lessons have lots of activities. This is the end of lesson two. I hope you are all here now on Apprentice. We will keep revising, reviewing. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Shukran wa ila liqa.